the show, Nikolai Schumann. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Good, man. How are you? Where are you at right now? Uh, at home in Berlin right now. Okay, so is Berlin your, your hometown or originally? Yeah, Berlin, Potsdam in Berlin. Well, I was born in um, and I grew up in Berlin, basically. Awesome. Well, welcome to the show. We're excited to talk to you. We we don't actually have a lot of information on Berlin yet. And so we're really excited to hear some of your thoughts on the season. Yeah, first and foremost, how do you feel re uh, are signing with the, the Thunder? Oh, well, I've been here from, yeah, from the get-go, kind of. So um, ever since I left Berlin, when it was still GFL times in 2017 and played for the New York Alliance for a couple of years, um yeah when the elf started i got back to berlin and i'm um, happy to still still be here so it's nice. why is your commitment to berlin so strong well due to the time i was playing in the gfl um being at college here in uh, in potsdam like next to berlin i had the time to still travel a little bit so that was you know kind of a no-brainer when i had the offer of uh, of the lions um, but ever since I'm done with college and I'm working here, um, I'm a sports therapist. I'm in a very recommend, um, highly recommended uh, sports therapy office, physio office. And I have my personal training clients in Berlin and my girlfriend. So it's yeah, where I live. Yeah, that makes total sense. Yeah, that's one thing for those watching. Uh, one thing that you'll, you'll notice um, throughout the leagues, a lot of homegrown players, there's a lot of factors going into uh, homegrown players staying where they are because a lot of it has to do with work. So for people don't don't know, most players in Europe have jobs outside of football. Football is secondary. And so if you have a really good job that you love in a, in a certain town, you might be heavily recruited to a different team, but you would choose to stay there because you you love your job. And that that, as we can see, Nikolai probably could go to a lot of different teams, that that is definitely a big factor. Uh, Nikolai, tell us tell us a little bit about the Berlin Thunder. You know, I feel like the Berlin Thunder have, have such potential, being the capital city and having lots of players to choose from. Why is it that Berlin isn't uh, at the top of the league right now? Yeah, that's a, that's a really good question. I mean, Thunder kind of we've been here from you know from day one, but kind of rebuilt in the second year when you know the boss level changed and uh, some people took over work here um and i definitely gotta say we've been climbing up the ladder since not in the big steps that we planned for sure um but things are going the right way one of the biggest issues um we like you ask why berlin as a capital is not really getting the potential on the field that's a good question sometimes um we were lacking a little bit of uh, some parts of our on our offense last season specifically that made it a little, you know, harder when it uh, got to the point where we had to compete against a really good defense, really good teams, especially because our defense was great the past two years. So we can't definitely um, point the finger to them. Um, so we got to step up as offense um, this year to make it, you know, a really good winning record and uh, be on the, you know, on the list for the other teams. So you guys and we made we kind of canceled the word potential last year. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys made that a big change uh, uh, this off season, bringing in Jacob Sullivan. Have you got to work with him at all uh, with the new quarterback? Um, well, I know I've been talking to Jacob like ever since we announced the signing. And um, when I was in Frankfurt visiting my grandpa, I was working out with him a little bit in the gym. And of course, we can't. Um, um, work with our imports yet so like the league rules uh, is uh, saying that so we just um, met up on the grass field just throw some balls at least talk a little bit because connection is is important you know um and but i can't wait for for may end of april may when camp season starts to uh, work with all the guys nico you've been in the in the league since the beginning of it what have you seen in the change of the league and and i guess let's go both directions i want to hear good and bad what do you think let's start with what do you think uh, has been a great improvement to the league overall since you started um becoming more international 
it is always a critical point. A lot of people always criticize it on social media or somewhere like, oh, why are you expanding to so many countries? And we got to get the level to the same first. Um, but I'm, I don't really share that, that, that thought because um, people and teams from other countries where football isn't as big as in Germany um, need these you know, experiences and they will grow by it. And as long as they can stay in the league and maintain um, the work, things will grow together. And that's a big factor that I really like. Um, the factor that it became very international also overseas, like um, many teams already heard of the ELF, like in the US, for example, more and more teams sign big name players from colleges, former NFL players. Uh, it gets more, that's my, the feeling I have, like you sign more and more big names. Um, active NFL players join teams or Hall of Famers take over in Munich. You know, it's that's a good sign. Absolutely. One of the things that I've been thinking about recently, um, I, right now, the city that I live in is the home of Baylor University. And I plan mm -hmm. on um, at some point meeting with the athletic department, the Baylor, the Baylor football team specifically, and, and try to connect the, the league to them and, and see if I can't. I don't even know how it would work, but get build some sort of uh, bridge between division one universities and, and the ELF to, to see that there's other options beyond just the NFL and, and the CFL. So I love, I love that answer. Now just to the second question. Um, what about from, from your perspective as a player, what would you think could be a huge improvement to really help um, expand the league in a, in a more sustainable or um, better way? I mean, as a player, I try to keep a little distance from managing stuff, of course, because, you know, it's a lot of work and, um, but yeah, I don't really know what to say about that. I gotta be honest because it's a tough question and, uh, yeah, good point. I think, I think the, um, the factor that the game pass is also getting better and makes it. Uh, it makes the league more available for the people in every country. I mm -hmm. think a huge factor that might be a problem are the different streaming um, hosts in the different countries, maybe. Uh, okay. So, you know, kind of get on the same page on that, uh, on that part, maybe. So, so yeah. Make so it all bring it back to Berlin. <laughs> bring it back to Berlin. Uh, we saw them uh, bring back Kyle Kitchens. Aaron Jackson, Robin Wiltek, uh, you're kind of the maybe the OG of the of the Berlin Thunder. What's it like having the same group of guys coming back uh, year after year, and and how does that project into the next season? This is definitely the key factor for every team to stay or become successful. Because when you grow as a team, you work out together. Also during the off season, when it comes to the homegrowns. You, you build something and this is very yeah necessary to um, to get it going also on the field because uh, if you if you can't smell the guy next to you kind of it's hard to get along and also your feelings might get into your way and you shouldn't let that happen but keeping a base uh, is always a uh, yeah key to success I gotta say and here and there you gotta change up a couple of guys and to get them, how you build a good team, in my opinion. What what can we expect from the Berlin Thunder this year? Um, well, definitely got to be more present when it comes to the offense. Um, we definitely want to make, uh, you know, we're going to use our weapons we have on offense, passing wise, also establish a good run game, which has been a big factor for us the past two seasons. Um, especially last season. Um, that's why we got kind of yeah, easy to read in a couple of situations. So that's got to be a key factor for us to be um, bringing a good, um, you know, a wide specific, how do you say that, a variety of plays. Right, yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, Nikolai, we appreciate you having on, coming on to the show and, and talking with us. Really excited to My see pleasure. 
what the offense looks like. I know it's going to change a little bit with, with Jacob coming in, um, but I love your commitment to Berlin. I love their, your commitment to the growth of the league, so really appreciate you. Thank you very much. We, meet, we met in Berlin already. It's like seven years ago. Seven years ago? 2000. No, wait a second. Yeah, 2017, when you were at Frankfurt, we played uh, in the Euro Bowl one game. Oh, was, yeah. I was yeah. with the Rebels. You were with the Rebels. Okay. Yeah. You had a couple of really chippy American players. Yeah, uh, that's true. Those guys, man, they, 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 all, I just remember them just, I, just, I feel like they just wanted to hurt me. That's it. They didn't care about tackling me. They didn't want to hurt me. <laughs> Yeah, that's football, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah man. Yeah. Well, good luck to you this season. Uh, we'll Thank definitely you. see you again this year. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Yeah. Thanks for coming.